Good afternoon and welcome to beautiful Dan Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hartford, Vermont. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats getting set to kick off their home season here against the Blue Mountain Bucks. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, Channel 1080 on the local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. And we are streaming live today. Liz on tech, Bailey on camera. Our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Caldwell Insurance, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. Lady Cats had their opening game of the season this past Saturday down in Oxbow. They beat the Olympians one zip. This is the opening game for the Blue Mountain Bucks 2022 season. Action going to be underway very shortly. In the Oxbow game, it was Isabel Gallon telling the goal, assist by Tessa Luther. Madeline Kaiser had her first clean sheet of her varsity career in goal. So congrats to our Lady Cats for getting off to a great start. Last season, Hazen and Blue Mountain went into overtime, which Hazen ended up losing. Hazen missed a penalty kick during regular time to put them two goals ahead. Blue Mountain instead ended up tying the game up. And Coach Harry Bissett has given me some hot tips that I will be reading to you throughout the game. Harry Bissett, of course, the coach for your Lady Cats. This is the coach, Ali Gabary. Athletic director, Jared Cushing. New athletic director, longtime AD John Sperry, retired this past year. Seems kind of weird out there looking across and not seeing John standing there. Blue Mountain puts the ball into play. We'll try and match some numbers and names up. we got different numbers and names for uh, the Cats as well. That pass up ahead, knocked down by Caitlin Davison. Gets it in the middle. The barefoot Contessa out there trying to get a foot on that one. Back over to Davison. Ball back, taken by Blue Mountain. I'm going to shot on. I'm going to test Kaiser early. That one's going to roll wide. Jordan. Hey, go, go. Go. Referees for today's game. Uh, one of them is Greg Hartman. The other one, his name is Barry. We did not get a last name, so we'll just call him Barry. I believe Barry is down behind the Hazen goal right now, and Hartman is out just outside the box. I believe that's Kyra Nelson taking a shot going high. Had the direct kick. Couldn't convert on that. Hazen will have the always scintillating goal kick to put the ball back into the play. I believe that's Lily Castle. Lily Castle's made of sand. Blue Mountain on the attack, trying to make something happen. Back across, Nelson puts the ball in. Nelson going to take a shot again. Off the post. Post, the goalie's best friend right there. Nelson had a nice line. Ball rolls out of bounds, throw in Blue Mountain. Rolls off the end line. Goal kick. Blue Mountain with the throw in. I believe that's Susanna Nelson, if I saw the number right, with the throw in. A long ways across the field. We want to thank Coach Harry Bissett for building us this fine, fine stand that we've got out here. Got us under cover and everything. We're able to stream live. I believe, Liz, this is the first time we've streamed a soccer game live, correct? Uh, there were some experiments last year. We did some experiments last year. Okay. That's why we have a tent. Exactly. Got the pop up here. Once again, thank you, Coach Harry. Got us a nice platform. Pop up. We are safe. So we should be able to cover, theoretically, we should be able to cover all the games in the past years with the threat of rain and everything we haven't been able to. So unless it's really a wind drone hurricane type scenario, we should. Here's Gowan. 
Gowan, the freshman, saw time on the varsity team as an eighth grader last year. She's an awesome player, fast, aggressive. We have not had a scoring threat since her, since uh, Lizzie Brown graduated. Shot on goal, knocked down. That was Julia DeGrosier with a defensive play. Corner kick, the most exciting play in all of soccer. This announcer's humble opinion. Jordan Alley, junior, puts the ball into play across. Knocked out. We'll try it again. About five minutes in, four minutes. Alley, ball up, knocked down. Nice clear out. By Davison, here's the barefoot contessa. Ball's ahead. Gowans, great speed to get down there. Good job, Caitlin. Caitlin gets it over to Luther. Luther wants to cross. Back in the middle, Maverick. Murphy, the pattern is clear. To hit Gowan up there. Tried to lead her, couldn't quite get it there. This will be Lily Roy putting the ball into play. Davison gets on that one. Davison. Maverick. Trying to get the foot over the cross. In the middle. Tessa couldn't quite get the foot on that she wanted. Bucks on the attack, cross in the middle. Looking for Nelson, she seems to be the one that they want to get the ball to for scoring. Ball rolls out, Bucks throw in. And I believe we'll have a Hazen goal kick. Lily Castle with the foot. Kyra Nelson gets it across. She's trying to look for blood. Carly Blood back across. That one's going to go behind the net. For a goal kick. Grozier are going to try the goal kick this time. Lines it straight to Jordan Alley. Alley takes it in. Shot on. Kaiser knocks it down. Ball rolling around. Alley trying to get the foot on it. There's Nelson back. Blocked out. Lily Castle. He's in defense being tested here. But Lily Roy working against Caitlin Davison. Roy, a freshman. Davison, I believe, is a sophomore. At least that's what it, no, junior. Her number's 10. Her year, she's a junior. Sorry. I was looking at her number, thinking that was a grade. She's a junior. I thought she was older than that. Shot on. Kaiser makes the save. Field a little slick. Ball's a little slick out here. It's been raining uh, last night and all day today. Nothing torrential, but uh, steady. Kyra Nelson up inside, turn around. Here's Jordan Alley, I believe. Puts shot on high. Goal kick. On Coach Harry's hot tips for the game. Key to the game is going to be defense, then possession, then goals. They're definitely playing defense right now. Davison trying to clear out, get by Roy. Carly Blood with her as well, getting double teamed. Take it, Tessa. Here you go, Isabel. Take it, Isabel. Good ball. Keep press 
Blue Mountain maintaining possession in the Hazen end for most of this game so far. Just about nine minutes in. Gotten a couple of quality shots on goal. One, got one shot off the post. Other shots have gone high or wide. Kaiser has been tested a couple of times. Going to whistle. Carly Blood called for the push. Free kick, Lily Castle looking for Davison. Beating her to the ball is Lily Roy. Carly Blood, cross, middle, knocked out. Blood trying to get by Lily Castle. Lily Castle, a senior. She's been a stalwart back at defense for the Lady Cats her entire career. The girls here with the goal kick. Carly Blood looking in the middle. Nice foot, nice turn. I believe that was Nelson getting the foot on that one. Save Kaiser. I'm trying to remember the nickname I had for Madeline Kaiser last year. I'm going to have to remember. I'm going to have to. I'm going to go have to go back and watch one of the old games. I guess. It took me a while to come up with one, but I'll get one. Gabriella Stanchu in the middle. Stanchu. Working, she was working on uh, Lily Roy. Here's Gowan. Turns the corner. Gets by Florentine. Hazen with a chance to mount a little bit of offense here in his half. Gowan gives chase. Ball rolls out. White throw. Lauren Joy on the throw in. Gets it up here to Carly Blood. Blood, a lot of field in front of her. Sarah Collier with her. Asian defense trying to fall back. Kennedy Perigo on the far side was a foot on the ball. That was Susanna Nelson right there. Nelson gets that one taken away. I believe that's one of the Christensen girls. Turn and get a number, and I'll tell you which one it was. Alexis, the A to the B in the Christensen connection. Alexis and her sister Bailey contributed greatly to the Lady Cats teams of both soccer and basketball. Hazen, looking to get a shot on. Not that time. Felicity Sullum in goal for the Blue Mountain Bucks. Must be feeling kind of like the Maytag repairman back there. Carly Blood working on Collier. That one goes wide. Sullum a junior in goal for the Bucks. Kaiser a sophomore. And goal for the Lady Cats. Knocked down. Bree Holbrook, a freshman, with this defensive play on that one. Tessa looking ahead, turning. Natalie Mitchett sits it over cross field. Tessa looking to try and make the turn and cross, gets back. Caitlin Davison up ahead. Mitchett with a foot. Here's Tessa. Nice stop. Looking for Gowan. Gowan couldn't quite get it there. Christensen puts a shot on from outside and Sullum. Gets to finally touch the ball for the Blue Mountain Bucks. 26-45 left to go here in the first half. No score. 
Nice punt up to about midfield. Nice takedown there by Gabby Stanchu. I believe that was Lauren Joy knocking that one away. Bucks bringing things back up. Nelson. Back up. Rain coming down a little bit harder now. He's kind of missed it. Ball right in the middle. Gonna have a corner kick. If I'm looking at the number right, it's Jordan Alley. He's gonna take the corner kick. For the Bucks as Maverick Murphy checks back in. For the Lady Cats, ball in play, down and knocked away. Nice defensive play. Trying to see who made that play, I think it was Caitlin. No, Caitlin's up here. No, I think it was Caitlin. I can't tell. Gowan, the speedster, put on, off the post. Almost a goal. Ball went off the post. Natalie Mitchum was there, couldn't quite get a foot on it. Then the ball was whistled dead. Sullum is thanking the post right now. Because Isabel Gowan had that shot lined up. Beautiful shot on goal. Tessa had a chance to stop that one. Ball went under. Here are the Bucks back up. Lily Castle clearing it out. Here's a shot on by Alley. Jordan Alley gets it back out. Tessa. The barefoot Contessa wants to drop that back for Caitlin Davison. So I'll correct myself on the previous uh, defensive stop by Hazen. It was Julia DeGrosier. I was looking at the eight. I thought it was a zero. I didn't think it was Caitlin, but trying to give credit where credit's due. Shot on Kaiser. Makes a save, quick reflexes. Madeline Kaiser getting a workout here in the first half. <sighs> she has stopped at least three or four quality shots that I have seen. Bucks back on the attack once again. Hazen looking to get a defensive play. Nice move to get by, line up the shot, that's gonna go high. And that was Jordan Alley with the high shots. Chasing loose balls on the sideline today. Uh, on the near side here, I believe we have Emma Conway. And on the far side, it is Grayson Churchill. Grayson going down in the woods. Looks like I'm not gonna have to go too far. Collar rubbing paint with Kennedy Perigo. Throw in Lily Roy, looking for Perigo. There you go, Sarah. Way to be. Collier working on her. Ball tipped out. We're going to have a goal kick. Lily Castle lining things up. Let's see where she's going to go. She's going to go right to Kennedy Perigo. Perigo with the easy trap, puts a shot on across. Ball rolls across the mouth there. Hazen defense once again rising. So Coach Harry's hot tip of playing defense is 
definitely come to form so far in his first half. Now they got possession. Now we'll see if we can score a goal. Had a wonderful opportunity last time. Isabel Gowan put a beautiful shot on, went off the post. See what the Lady Cats can do on this one. Tessa looking inside. Gowan trying to get the turn, knocked away by the defense. Here's Stanchu. Collier knocks that one down. Gowan trying to cross the middle. Collier back up once again. Tessa trying to get a turn, get it going back the other way. Not going to happen on this one. Kennedy Perigo down low. Kaiser just beat Alley to the ball on that one. All right, Julia. It's all right, kid. Jordan Alley, if it had been there a split second sooner, might have gotten a shot off. That ball skips by Lily Roy. Collier looking to work the sideline. There's Gowan. Sharon Shannon Florentine on her. Lily Roy trying to make a move past Sarah Collier. Gabrielle Stanchi drops back. Kennedy Perigo cross. Knocked down Lily Castle. And Lily Castle's made of sand. Ball ping-ponging around out here like a pinball game right now. Murphy going against Nelson. Blue Mountain on offense once again. Carly Blood on the far side. Working against Bree Holbrook. Holbrook the freshman. Fast. Kaiser save. Punt. Step ahead. Ball goes under the foot of the Blue Mountain player. Mitchett on the far side. Looking to bring the ball up. She's got Gowan in the middle. If she can get the cross. Can't get the cross. Still working. Drops it back. Tessa gets past a couple of defenders. Mitchett there, still looking to get a shot. Here's Stanchu, chips it in. Gowan gets the left footer on. Defender knocks it down. Stanchu keeping the ball in play. Shannon Florentine playing some tough defense back there as well, along with Lily Roy. Collier throwing. Looks at Gowan down in the corner. Gowan gives chase. Can try and keep it in. Ball's going to roll down. Yeah. We've got a slow field today with the wetness. Luther. The barefoot Contessa. Dance around. Almost did a little bit of a Lord of the Dance thing there. I like that. I haven't seen a Lord of the Dance move since Macy Moeller graduated. Middle of the field, Caitlin Davison. Beautiful pass inside for Gowan. Gowan over to Davison. Nice passing. Davison puts a shot on. Save. Felicity Sullivan. Just some great offensive passing right there. Beautiful footwork between Gowan and Davison. And I'll tell you, those two ladies can score. Davison with a trap at midfield. A 
She's going ahead. She was on side, trying to get a turn, can't get it. Ball cleared out by the Blue Mountain defense. This will give me an opportunity to read our sponsors. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, Channel 1080. On your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Bailey on camera, Liz on tech. Lady Cats with their home opener of the 2022 soccer season. Looking to push their record to 2-0. They won by a score of one zip in Oxbow down at Bradford this past Saturday. We've got 16 minutes left to go in the first half of a scoreless game so far, of which Hazen has got off a couple of real quality shots. Blue Mountain has gotten off, I think, a few more quality shots. They've definitely controlled the ball more up in our end this half. But uh, when Hazen have had the opportunities, we've had a couple of just golden ones. I think either team could have scored a couple of goals by now. We've got a couple of really great goaltenders. We've seen some balls go off the post. We've seen some outstanding defensive play. Good soccer game here from Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Harvard, Vermont. And I'll try to control my excitement as we have another goal kick. Lily Castle lines that one up straight to a Blue Mountain player, but cleared out by the Hazen defense. Ball up. Mitchett trying to make a move. Maverick gets it over to Tessa. Tessa turn. Mitchett on the far side has the ball go out to red throw. <laughs> throw in Hazen. Here's Maverick Murphy. Tessa calls for it. It's a back. Stanchu can't get the foot on it. Blue Mountain. At least the last few minutes, of the ball has been more in place sort of in the middle of the field than uh, down at our end. So we're working our way up. Christensen. With the kick. Blue Mountain back down. Here's Davison looking for Luther up ahead. Luther turns, gets it back over in the middle. Natalie Mitchett, see what she can do. Gets by Maddie Houghton, working on Houghton. Davison over Tessa, wide open, shot on, save Sullen. And once again, that ball is out there. It's real wet, it's real slippery. I would say footing in the goal mouths. Well, maybe at, at the end where Selim is, it looks a little little bit more muddier up here, down where Kaiser is, it's a little more solid. Footing in the goal mouths and whether how wet and slick that ball gets could come into play on a save here. Rain is let up for the moment. I'll put you down that way. Shot on, knocked down by DeGrosier. Julia, a freshman. Tall girl. Yeah. 
So Hayes and a young team. A lot of freshmen and sophomores on here. We do have three seniors. Maverick Murphy, uh, four. Maverick Murphy, Gabby Stanchu, Alexis Christensen, Lily Castle. And we're looking at freshmen, sophomores, the juniors of Tessa Luther, Sarah Collier, and Caitlin Davison. Then we've got some youngsters under there that really know how to play. So. Lady Cat soccer is going to be exciting for a long time, I think. Shot on by Davison. That one goes wide. Looking at Coach Harry's hot tips in possession, Hazen will try to possess the ball in the neutral third with its midfield long enough for the wingbacks to push up on the flanks. Then get into the final third as a cohesive 10 players, not allowing gaps or weaknesses in formation with the formation do the work. And I say when, they have the when they've had the opportunity to be on offense up here, that's worked beautifully because they've got some great shots. Hazen has a 3-4-3 formation today with three center backs to shore up the defensive line, two wingbacks to fall back to make a back five went out of possession, which has come in real handy because we played a lot of defense here in the first half. <laughs> Lily Roy with the drop pass in. Kennedy Perigo has that one go out. Goal kick. Lily Castle lines up the goal kick. Kicks it straight to Kennedy Perigo. Perigo puts on a shot wide. We'll line it up and try this again. The girls zero try the goal kick. Look for a red jersey to get it to, which she does. Skips off, Stanchu. Blue Mountain with control. Hayes in defense, falling back. Nice move. Gets a shot on, wide. By Shannon Florence, a junior for the Blue Mountain Bucks. I believe this is Florentine going to take the corner kick. Oh no, this is uh, Jordan Alley, sorry. Jordan Alley. This one's going to go out. We go from the most exciting play in soccer to the most boring play in soccer. Lily Castle lines up the goal kick. Gets it out here, Sarah Collier. Lily found a red jersey on that goal kick. Bucks control though, here's Perigo. Cross, knocked out by Maverick Murphy and we'll have a corner kick. 7.45 left to go in the first half. Corner kicks at this corner of the field are a little difficult. If you look, it's, it's sort of deceptive. You can really see it from up here where we are now. The, the corner really dips down over here. They're, they're kind of kicking uphill out of a hole over there for a corner kick. Shot wide. One of the quirks of Hudson Fields. If you're over on the far side on the bench, you're over here doing a corner kick. Sometimes you can just only see like the upper half of it. Moving up, Gowan back out now. Her and Mitchett up front, a couple of speedsters. Davidson up front as well. Gowan's not going to catch that one. Sullen with the easy save. Yeah. 
So Coach Harry going big time on his offensive front here with Mitchett and Gowan for speed. Davison for the foot. And Caitlin has speed as well. But uh, Gowan and Mitchett are burners. Perigo. Tries to move up. Collier stops that one. Whistle. Now you want this? <laughs> Referee Greg Hartman blows the ball down. Going to give Blue Mountain a kick. Free kick over here on the near side. Jordan Alley going to take that. I don't know if Lily Roy knew that one was coming or not. Kind of bounced off the foot. Alley getting over. Roy moving inside. Knocked out by Murphy. Getting a little dangerous there on the inside with Blue Mountain. He's the defense playing strong. We've seen this the last number of years. The uh, Hazen defense plays a lot of defense in games. Hazen employing a new tactic on the goal kick, which seems to kind of be working now. Nice ball ahead. Bounces up over the head of Gabby Houghton. Gowan can't catch up there, and they're starting to mist again a little bit. But we remain dry under Coach Harry's platform and canopy to bring you live Hazen Union soccer action all season. Here's Gowan, she's on side, gets a shot on wide. Once again, streaming live and archived at www.hctv.us. Now, Liz, are we just streaming live, or are we on the channel as well? So far, just streaming. Just the stream. Nice. All right, straight from the words of our tech wizard. They're going to try uh, streaming live today. Of course, it'll be archived. And then they're going to try and stream and put it on the channel on Saturday. A game which I will not be at, but I believe Griff and Coach Harry are going to be coming that as the boys will be having their home opener against Harwood, I believe. If I I've got a busy week here for soccer here at Hudson Fields. I did take some notes on that. Uh, the boys, uh, the girls will host Fairfax on Friday. And Saturday the boys will have their home opener against Harwood. Girls play Friday at 4.30. They're hosting Fairfax. The boys host Harwood 11 a.m., their first home game this coming Saturday. Boys travel to Fairfax on Wednesday for their opening game of the season. Busy times here for fall sports. Yeah, I just used my Knocked down, nice defense by Davison. Turn, shots, blocked down to Grosley. Trying to get it out, shot on. Astor with the block. Nice play. by Mitchett to get that ball ahead. Couldn't quite get it there. Here's Mitchett once again, working on Roy. Cadence McKean with a defensive play there for the Bucks, And that was Gabby Houghton as well, moving up to get the ball back into the Hazen zone. Up ahead, wow, nice defense. If that ball, we're gonna buy Joy. Isabel had a line on it. Here's Gowan once again. Joy back there with her. 
Lauren Joy, the senior, Gowan, the freshman. Joy with a fantastic play to trap that ball down. Because like I said, if that ball would have gone by her, it would have been one-on-one -on -one with Solomon Gowan. Hazen looking to mount something here with about a minute 15 left. That shot's going to go high. And a light mist forming once again out here on Hudson Fields. Sullivan for the kick up. Less than one minute to play. we got about 50 seconds left to go here in the first half. Hazen going to have to move it up a little quicker than this. There's Tessa. Good cross. Davison over on the far side looking to line things up. 30 seconds. Davison working on Houghton. Davison gets by her. Davison still trying to make something happen. There's a shot. Over, it looks like she's looking for Gowan on this side. We got 20 seconds. And we're gonna have to really hurry here, I don't think. 10 seconds. And five seconds. Firing some type of miracle shot. She's gonna have to throw it off, and that will end the first half of the score. Still 0-0. Good solid soccer game. Hazen uh I would say in the second half of the first half, played a little bit better soccer, getting the ball up the field a little bit more. They weren't relying on their defense quite as much. Blue Mountain uh, has Sullum and Kaiser made some great saves here today. Both teams playing well. This is an excellent, excellent soccer game here from Hudson Fields between your Hazen Union Wildcats and the Blue Mountain Bucks. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And call the word insurance, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. If you're watching Hazen Union Lady Cut Soccer on HCTV, channel 1080, serving worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. We'll be back for the second half.
And we're back. We're about one minute away from the start of the second half of your Hazen Union Lady Cats opening home opener. They have a record of 1-0 coming into this game. Uh, they beat Oxbow one zip this past Saturday. They are hosting the Blue Mountain Bucks in their home opener today. The Buck, this is the first game of the Buck season. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channels uh, 1080 on your cable dial and shipping worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Bailey on camera, Liz on tech. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. And joining me on commentary right now, I did not get a last name, but you want to just go by Buffy? Yeah, sounds great. We're just going to go by Buffy. Uh, <laughs> joining us now, you... Uh, are affiliated with Coach Harry somehow, right? Uh, yes, I, I coach uh, Lakeview Elementary and okay. the Cabot Warriors U12, uh, U14 team. Excellent, excellent. So Buffy is going to... As well as play with Harry. As play well as... Play soccer with Harry. All right. So Buffy is going to give us, like, the coach's perspective on this, the technical stuff that I don't know. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be a good time. Both teams, I thought, played well in the first half. Uh, Hazen played a lot of defense at times, but then they did manage to mount some offense, got some great shots off. Both goalies made great saves. Both goalies benefited from the post. And uh, so I think this has been a well-played game so far. Yeah, it seems like Hazen maybe had a, took a minute to warm up, but once they got there, their, their defense was pretty solid. And and they had some really nice shots on goal. Of course, we switched ends, and I alluded to this in the first half a little bit. I think the goal mouth down at this end, you can see a little bit of dirt there, a little bit of mud with the rain and the wetness. i got to wonder if it's a little slick up here. Oh, Here's yeah, Gowan. So this seems to be a little more solid footing, at least. Rain holding off for now. In fact, uh, almost a tiny bit of a, a little bit of a break up there. We're not, we're not going to see sunshine, I don't think, but hopefully the rain is over for today. Hazen coming right out of the gate, trying to pressure Sullen. Here's Tessa, turn. Didn't get the oh, shot on offside. quite fast enough. Got an offsides call. Solid pass, though. Really good thought. We saw, I thought we saw some beautiful passing on a couple of the uh, Hazen offensive exchanges there in that first half. Gowan with the knockdown. Back out by Blue Mountain. Alexis Christensen, the A to the B in the Christensen connection. Ball ahead, nice pass. They tried to lead Gowan. Knocked out by Lauren Joy, who made a whale of a defensive play in late in the first half to save what would have been a breakaway, I, I felt. Nice chest trap she made to knock that ball down. Christensen, she can score as well. Coach Harry putting his offense out there. Caitlin Davison over on the far side. Trying to move the ball up. Stanchu. Chipping about across. Yeah, chipping that one in. Maverick couldn't quite get to the ball first. Jordan Alley. Lead pass on the far side. Nice send up to the, the wing. Ball across. It. Davison out there to challenge. Good defense. Yeah, Hazen's been doing some really, really beautiful give and goes to each other. Seems like they've got that down pretty good. Coach Harry's offense, I'll tell you, if they get clicking this year, is going to be fantastic. He's got three, four, five girls out there who could basically score from just about anywhere. Mm. Corner kick. Didn't seem to get in. Nope. Our referee, Barry, on the far side actually making the play on that one. Greg Hartman on the near side. We didn't get Barry's last name, so we're just going to call him Barry. Last names are overrated anyway. Exactly. <laughs> I only use mine because it rhymes with my, with my catchphrase, you nah. know. <laughs> Lily, castles made of sand. Ball up. Goal kick. Knocked down. Intercepted. And will this be a direct kick, Buffy, or um, indirect? Coach Harry has told me the you know, how it is and how the referees point in terminology. Looks like it could be a direct. Put right on, Kaiser with right the save. Something about the way the referees point their hands or something. 
You know, I oh. probably should know that, shouldn't I? Just, I? There we go. I lost my... Uh, I'm oh, sorry about that. Nah, it's okay. That's a good sign. I can't hear myself here. It's this connection right here. Shot on wide. Let's see if I got it now. I'm hearing you. You're hearing me? Yeah. I got myself back now. Okay. A little bit of technical, a little, little Looks bit like of a cord. Corner. A little bit of a cord loosenage right there. We got. Uh, Hazen is playing the Blue Mountain Bucks today. Uh, from uh, That school is located down in Wells River, Vermont. Basically take the same exit as the P&H truck stop. Go left instead of right to the P&H, and, uh, and the school is right down there. See if Blue, Hill, Blue Mountain can maintain possession. Hazen wins it. If Joy has that one go by her back. Wow, her and Gowan are both so what fast. Speed? Tessa yeah. lining up. Oh, right in front of her. Pass back. Christensen inside. Gowan back Being to very Tessa. Very patient with it. Coach Harry likes to likes the girls to get quality shots. Yeah. He doesn't want 20-yard rainbows from outside, you know. Low into the corner is what he preaches all the time. Christensen looking across. Mitchett couldn't get quite get the foot on it. Madly. Looking up top. Gowan. Point blank. Oh. Can't quite get it. Couldn't quite get a foot on it. It got kind of underneath her. Really hard to get get your foot on it. Solid when it's right underneath you. Easy save for Sullum. High punt. Nice trap down, Alexis Christensen. I'm also really impressed by Hazen's, um, their ball skills are are quite good. They're able We're gonna have a whistle on that one. Oh, yeah, and, uh, like nice Tessa body got a check. little aggressive, yeah. Good shoulder into her. <laughs> they do have a good ability to get their bodies right in between the other player and the ball though. Good, sh really seem to be great at shielding the ball and using their body to just take the ball right away. Lauren Joy, the senior for Blue Mountain, gonna take the kick. Gets it up ahead. And ball travels underneath, turn, knocked out. By Hazen. You see again there, she just used her body right, right yep. there to just sneak that ball right into her possession, steal it right away. Luther. Underneath Maverick keeps it in play. Tessa couldn't quite get it over to Natalie on the far side. Out of bounds, red throw. Caitlin with the throw in on the far side. It seems like Hazen's really sunk into a passing game, and they're really out passing Blue Mountain at this point. And neither team, as I'm looking across, I didn't really realize this in the first half. I'm kind of getting my feet under me here with the first broadcast of the year. Neither team with a real deep bench. I think what, pretty much what we see is what we get. Hazen's got a couple of subs. Blue and Mountain maybe wide. with one. Shot goes wide. Sullum takes the kick, kind of kind of a spinner. Christensen pounces on that. Alexis Christensen puts a finish. shot on left footer. Ooh. Nice shot by Alexis. Easy so save for the goalie though. Sullum the junior, and she seems pretty well seasoned back there in goal. There's they can get something. Nice ball to the there. corner. And across. Oh my gosh. Oh, just Woo! missing. 
If she'd gotten more behind that, that would have been a solid goal. Kennedy, that was a beautiful cross. Kennedy Perigo wants that. She's going to be thinking that back. about that one tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wide open net, wide open shot. All she had to turn it, just tap it. Just bonked it. Could not get behind it. That's a sad miss. See if they can win it back, though. Well, Hazen maintained possession. Susanna Nelson working here on the near side. Lots of red down there. Not many, many of the Blue Mountain on the on offense right now. Yeah, they've kind of fallen back to the midfielders. So. Defense is. Hazen defense seems to be really pulling back, keeping a lot of players back there, keeping a heavy, solid defensive wall. That's why it's been so hard for Blue Mountain to get through them, it seems. This looks about seven to one, seven to two, seven v two up there on the offense for Blue Mountain. Here's Lauren Joy with the throw in. She was looking ahead for Perigo once again. Joy gets that one to the middle. Looking to turn is Allie. Nice Jordan cut. Allie. Can't get it over. Taking a shot. shot. Oh, oh, and, and a goal. Went off the defense. Slid right think, off the defense. Yeah, I think foot. Lily went to try and kick it out and instead sort of deflected it in. That's a tricky one for a goalie. And I'm not sure who, I'm trying to get a number here. It's the girl there. Was that uh, I'm hearing, nine? I'm hearing Lily. Yeah, they're saying Lily, and that's number nine, Lily Roy, who put the put the initial shot on. Nice shot. Very good shot. And uh, I'll tell you, that's tough on a defensive player, too. My daughter played defense, and she had that happen several times to her where she would go to make a play and, you know, end up scoring on us. Yeah, that's and, always uh, a heartbreaker. Yeah, it's like, well, you know, if you don't make the play, they might score too. So it's hard to not feel guilty on e those ones. Exactly. That she she dealt with a lot of mental stuff on that. So yeah. Hopefully, Lily. Defense often has not a whole lot of glory. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, Lily shakes it off. Like I said, she's a senior and she has played defense since day one of her varsity career and has been outstanding. So. You got a kid. Just trying to make a play. Nice interception by Hazen. All right, let's see what Blue Mountain does with that. Another good cross to the corner. See if we can get it in there. Perigo looks cross field. Let's call you. anyone cleared out. Nice idea if somebody would have been there. Uh, I believe it was... Uh, I believe it was Sarah Collier that just knocked that one out, I think. Was it number seven? Ten. Number ten? Caitlin Davison. Caitlin yeah. Davison. <laughs> Solid player. Yeah, Caitlin's awesome. Really good at shielding the ball. Really great ball skills. She's got that little uh, sheep to dupe she does behind the back there. That kind of seems to get him every time. She's got that one down. Her whole family have been amazing athletes for decades here at, at Hazen. Hazen Saved. trying to clear it out now. Christensen working on uh, Young. Or Nelson, that was. Susanna Nelson was number 13. And Christensen was working with up here a second ago. Christensen has that one go under her feet. Nelson right there. Ball up. Let's clear it out. Put some shots on goal here. Try and See get this one back. See if they can make some lift so she can stay on sides. And a beautiful ball. Up ahead, turn, oh, shot. Oh, and a goal. Oh. Great teamwork there. Amazing. That was beautiful. And that she was stayed composed. She didn't, she didn't freak out. What, she, what was number she's, a, she's a freshman. Ella Reno just scored freshman, that goal. Ella Reno. Freshman, Ella Reno. Yeah, she stayed nice and composed. It's really easy to, to just freak in those moments. Adrenaline and, rush. Yeah, and then just bonk it, but she stayed nice and composed and slipped it right past the goalie. So just like that, Hazen scores to knot this one up at one apiece with 27-12 left to go in the game. Goalie did get some fingertips on it, but not enough. Squirted under. Yeah. 
So it was Lily Roy scoring for the Bucks first, and the Cats answer back with a goal by the freshman Ella Reno. Must feel nice to be a freshman scoring goals. Yeah, gotta <laughs> love it. Uh, Hazen's other freshman, Isabel Gowan. We, we are loaded with oh, freshmen, nice but it was Isabel Gowan, Blue freshman Mountain. who got the goal against Oxford to win the game for them. Couldn't do much with it. See if they can clear it out. It's just hanging in there, that ball. <laughs> yeah. Slow fields. Yeah. I thought for sure that was out. Susanna Nelson gets it to Kyra Nelson. Really using their bodies there. Nice pressure. Maverick Murphy. That was a push. Left's calling that one a push. I felt like that was just shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, but. incidental. But he was like right there. So. He was right there. He was right there. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this one's direct or indirect, but. Jordan Allen's going like to line it direct. up. Look like direct the way the defense is. There's no wall there or anything. Oh, I guess there was a wall up front. Oh, oh. And turn and score. And I believe that was Kennedy Parago. Wow, three goals in how how long? A couple There's of minutes really here. Really popping them in though. Yeah. Really getting to that point. That was another moment of the Hazen Hazen defense trying to get it out and sending it right to into a Blue Mountain player. And that was Parago with the goal, and that sort of atones the miss that she made on the wide open oh, opportunity yeah. she had. So. And she's been hanging around up there, so. Yeah, it still takes good skill to, to crash that ball and make sure you get it. It's easy to Absolutely. give up on that first shot. She stuck with it. and. So we've had three goals now in a very short period of time, when, which was a scoreless game up yeah. until about five minutes ago. And now the Blue Mountain took a one-zip lead. Hazen came back, tied it up at one, and then Blue Mountain scores again to put themselves up 2-1. Starting to get exciting. Pretty evenly matched. Yeah, they do so great far. Teams. See if Astor can do something with it. She's doing great defense. Snuck by right by her though. She's quick. Very. Back and up Aster on the ball. Stayed stuck with it and got that ball back. It's a sign of a good defender if you can get beat and then still make it back and steal that ball back, not give up. Well, it's easy to give up. Throw in Hazen. That's Sarah Collier working out there. <laughs> Hesitated. Groves here working on Carly Blood. Blood sticking with it. Oh, wow. Coming Beautiful through. pass to number 10 in the center. Yeah, she was looking for Jordan Alley right there in the center, broken up by the defense. But it seemed like she was not quite ready for it and couldn't complete it. But she's going to try her, give her a shot at the corner. Carly Blood with the corner kick for Blue Mountain. 24-15 left to go in the match. Nice. Oh, yeah. That one goes behind. Too wide. Once again, this is Looked Blue to me from here like it was yeah, a nice was pass, on. but it was Once again, this is Blue out. Mountain's opening game of the season. Goalie change. Looks like our goal scorer is uh, heading into goal now. Is that true? Uh, or is she still I'm in? I'm not sure. No, no, there's like, I don't, I don't know who this would be going in. Is, yeah, is this Ella? Yeah, I believe it is. That's the one, that's who scored. Correct. Yeah, right, yeah. correct. So she scores a goal now, she's gonna go in and try and stop goals. <laughs> That's a versatile player, that's for sure. Absolutely. Switch from offense to defense that quick. Nice save. Gets a, a quick one. touch. Seemed like maybe Blue Mountain was going to get there in time and try to pop it in, but couldn't make it. Nice punts. Gowan. Stuck Working with against, it, used yeah. the body. Cadence McKee. See what they do here. Got by Cadence. Here's Isabel working up. Gets Ooh, by really Joy. Stuck behind it. And Joy. couldn't finish. Joy the senior, Isabella freshman. Joyce really stuck with that though. Yeah, KG defensive player by shot. shot on, save. Sullivan. Another easy save for the goalie. Nice, nice trap from the air.
trap down Christensen. Ball goes under the foot of the player, sticks with it. Christensen looking ahead, Mitchin. Trying to get to the middle, taken out by Joy. Sent it right to Davison. Right to, to Caitlin, see what she can do with it. She's got a great ability to just cut right around a player. Fake him out. Here's Isabel. Side, oh, cleared too out. Too far, too far ahead of her. Cleared out by Nelson. Let's see if she can cross this one in. There's not too many Hazen players in there to receive, but placement's all the most important part. Maverick collides big time with uh, Jordan Allen. <coughs> Maverick's not afraid to get physical, I'll say that for her. <laughs> Joy takes a kick up ahead, knocked down by Maverick Murphy. Girls there on the far side, trying to clear, working against the double team. Couldn't over get there. on it. Out. Could be a goal kick. 20 minutes still left in the game. 21. Still got some time for Hazen to. Yeah, we saw three goals in what? Five minutes, so. Yeah, plenty more time. Hopefully they don't get discouraged. Blue Mountains really starting to pick back up with the pressure. Getting back in their groove. And just snuck it right by her. Beautiful cross. Oh my gosh, that was almost a beautiful header goal. Good. She just couldn't quite get behind it. That would have been beautiful though. Yeah. Alarino getting tested here in goal. Yeah. Be a goal kick. Looks like they're going to try to send it out easy. Oh, right back into the hands of Blue Mountain. But recovered. Little back and forth here. Nice through ball. And couldn't complete it. Trying to get the turn. Hazen looking to get up here. See if Kaylin can keep this one. Using her body there. I knew she was going for that shield. She's so good at in that little shoot to do behind the back. Gets it up to She's really Kaylin. got that. Yeah, she has that one down. I think she's practiced that one a few times. <laughs> it looks like it, that's for sure. If it works, sometimes you just need one move. And There's Gowan up ahead. Oh, Mitchell. she couldn't get to it. There's Christensen. Sending pass back to D. But intercepted. Up oh, and repossessed. Maverick once again. Nice Trying cut right through. past her. Christensen, left foot, looking for the left foot. Sending Shot it on, nice. save, so. Kind of right to the, the goal there, easy, another easy save for the goalkeeper. Seems like. So, some nice patience by Christensen though, oh, there, yeah. to sort of settle that ball, get it down, at least get a solid foot on it. Yes. Davison working against uh, Jordan Alley. Over and on the using her side. body right there to just keep possession of that ball. And Those two have gone at it a few times today. Yeah. See if she can get it to her player. And she couldn't. Foul. For and free Hazen kick for Hazen. Kick, yeah. Watch 
looked like the referee, Greg Hartman, was explaining the call to the Blue Mountain player. Did you catch what he said about it? I did not. This is an indirect. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure what, what the foul was there. Yeah, he kind of crossed his arms. I don't know if that meant like obstruction or something like that. Maybe oh, I'm yeah, not. that might have been it because there was two of them there that seemed to kind of hold everything up. Yeah. And Astor with a knee. Gowan, Send Mitch it. calling for it. Hazen has these beautiful cuts where they just can Gowan really Gowan. just cut it right past the Blue Mountain defenders. Save Sullivan. Nice shot on goal. Yeah, Hazen, I'm, I'm encouraged with uh, Hazen mounting some offense. They're getting a lot of shots on goal, That's yeah. which is important. Past years, we've just seen them play defense, defense, defense. I'm loving to get to at least call some shots up here this year. Yeah, they're really doing some great, beautiful three passes to each other. And their their ball skills, their ability to just just cut right past the Blue Mountain defenders, who are kind of run, just kind of running it. Oh, There's beautiful goal. goal! Nice shot. That was a beautiful cross, right to her place, set her right up for that. That was Kyra one. Nelson, who we saw get some really good shots off. It was number ten that did that ass assist. Number ten. Number ten got the assist, and it was yeah. Nelson with the score. Beautiful assist. Yeah. I mean, that she yeah. went from the corner to the top of the 18, which is a set really hard cut, right to her feet, placed her, set her right up for that goal. Nice. We saw Nelson with some quality shots uh, in the first half as well. She'd been lurking up there for a while. So, 3-1, your score now, 16-30. Left to go in the game. See if Hazen can come yeah. back from the. Get a quick one, get it close. The number of shots they're getting, I, I, I believe that they have the, definitely have the ability to get a, another goal. Absolutely. That was solid, solid offense. Number 10 went down, but was able to get back up, pop right back up and keep possession. Just gonna try for another assist here. You can say we're kind of seeing uh, the Blue Mountain offense fall into a bit of a pattern here. Oh, yeah. But if it works, why not stick with it, you know? Yeah, send it to the down the corners and cross, cross it through to that top. So it looks like the, she really wants to get to the top of the 18 there where they're just sitting and waiting. Wide open. Hazen's not seeming to see those people sitting right at the top of the 18. Got to get the defensive shift over there. Uh, shot right over. Still 15 minutes left, though. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Pass back. Aster's going to get right to it. Uh, Mountain kept possession. Susanna Nelson here on the near side. Oh, Is nice interception. She really saw that one. Christensen. Timed it right. Christensen's such a smart player, and she's deceptively fast, and she can just do it all. It takes a lot to read and time it so that you can kind of lure the pass Make it look like you're not gonna, you're not there, but then just sneak right in and intercept it. Save Reno, low punts. Mitch, it drops back to Christensen. Nice cut. Tessa, looking up ahead, nice Gowan. Nice through ball, let's see what she can do with it. Back there with Joy. Joy's been speed. a nemesis for her today. Yeah. Let's see if they, oh, she's gonna go for the shot. Easy, easy save again. A little bit of a bouncer. Tessa takes a shot from. Couldn't get a solid purchase behind it. Outside. Further outside than Coach Harry likes, but. Yeah. But the shot you don't make is the shot you don't take, so. It's true. Let wow, up ahead. That was a beautiful, yeah. a beautiful. Reno, nice save. Got lucky on that one. As Perigo was looking for her second goal of the game. Right into her arms. That was a beautiful slide right through. Nice save by the freshman. Who accounted for Hazen's lone goal in the game. Right 
Minchin gets by Houghton. Well, went for it. Ahead. See if she can send it. Minchin again. Could have benefited from just a, a pass, a crossover to her other teammate there. It's the girls here with the pass back up ahead. Gallon nice. trying to make something Kept happen. That one. Tessa back. Nice pass back. Caitlin. Far side. Nice gentle carry. Just a nice little flick right past that defender. And nice, Tessa. beautiful pass to inside. Tessa putting a shot on. There's shots, but there's not a whole lot behind them, you know? Yeah, they're, they're struggling to really get some a solid. solid foot behind it. But Kaylin's really sliding some beautiful passes in there. She is. If she can keep doing that, that was nice. Tessa. One more pass, one more pass, send it through. She couldn't, she couldn't complete it. Lauren Joy. Nice defense, nice yeah. win there. Lauren Joy has been a and joy to watch play defense today. Who's that substitution there? Number three coming in. Number three, that's Gabrielle Stanchu. Going out is Maverick Murphy. Send it. Tessa yeah. calling for it. Mitch it. Gets nice over Tessa. Cross. Tessa cross. One touch and couldn't get it behind it. Nice. Oh, Kaylin really tried. Oh, bad collision. Really bad collision there. Yeah. She's, seems There's okay, back though. Up. And Pop we got no whistle, up. just everything incidental contact, I guess. Yeah, I mean, in those ones, usually the, the goalie's going to always get the upper hand in that if, if, if there's going to be a call. Always trying to protect the goalie. But it seems like a fair, a fair equal. Yeah. Equal, um, I mean, they're both kind of going for the ball. Yeah. Both. Nothing there on. Good non call. Kalen didn't do anything. Um, Anything risky there. <laughs> uh, that was a good hit that she took and popped right back up. Yeah, Caitlin's double tough. How tough she is. <laughs> uh, Calling Natalie Mitchell on the push. She really wanted that goal, it seemed like. She almost had a header on it, but. Popped it down too low. Stanchi couldn't quite come up with it. Drop back. Bree Holbrook. Number six on defense for the Cats. Couldn't seem to clear it out there. But Astor recovered it. Oh, the shooty doop didn't work there, but... No worries, she still held it and got a pass off. Tessa over to Caitlin. Caitlin, nice lead nice over. Nice through, oh. oh, that was. Great that defense by through, Houghton, that been by Maddie Houghton, yeah. Mitch is sticking with it. Can't quite get the slow roller over there. <laughs> Rex asking that player if yeah, that's Maddie Hope right getting checked on. Nine minutes left to go in the game. Lots of time, Red. Lots of time. Get it up. Get it up the field. Good job, Julia. Nice defense there. Sticking with it. There's Julia DeGrosley are sticking with the play all the way down through. Throw in for Blue Mountain.
8.15 left. Still time, but we've got to get one here pretty quick just to keep them honest. Well, couldn't keep it at her feet there. Carson's have knocked that one down. Stancher trying to move out. Alley sticking with her. Alley. Oh, beautiful shot into the, into the goal. Board. That oh, was that from a good 10 feet outside the 18. And I believe that is Jordan Alley. So balanced scoring. That's uh, the fourth person to score for the Bucks today to make the score 4 1 with 7.35 left to go in the game. Alley, a junior for Blue Mountain. And I haven't given the sponsors yet in this half, so why don't we do that? Uh, if I can find my sponsor sheet here. The sponsors today are Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, Channel 1080, streaming worldwide, www.hctv.us. Shout on goal worldwide. Bailey on camera, Liz on tech. Buffy providing the coach's corner here today for our broadcast, and it's been awesome. <laughs> I, tell you, I was just thinking, I remember last year, this past winter, Blue Mountain came up for a basketball game. They played us, and uh, I was doing halftime music, and for that game, I decided to go disco, and I, <laughs> I was playing the Bee Gees, You Should Be Dancing. I looked down, the girls, the Blue Mountain girls were all in a huddle, and they were all swaying in time to the music. It was perfect. <laughs> And they are definitely in time out here today as they've put four goals up on what had been a fairly stout defense. But, I mean, we can honestly say the first two goals were sort of, well, one of them, the first goal went off one of our defensive players. The second goal was a little bit of a defense miscue as well. The last two have been solid goals. So. Yeah, Blue Mountains, seemed, they seem to have a bit of a lull kind of at the end of the first half, but they've really picked it back up. And we've gotten shots this half, just nothing solid, nothing to, that's, you know, been a real wowzer shot back there for, for Felicity Sullen to, you know. Yeah, if Hazen could just keep doing these give and goes like they were really doing super well at, uh, right now they just seem to be trying to take a lot of shots from far out and they're just yeah. not be able to get enough power behind them to really make that goalie have to work at all. And she almost lost around, that one. Yeah. El Arino. Sullivan hasn't had to face a whole lot of cheek squeezers, as I call them, <laughs> in this half. No, Other than yeah, when Reno scored on her. Yeah. yeah. Most of it's just been kind of yeah. easy saves yeah. right to right to her, her, her arms. She hasn't really had to move much at all to get to them. See if Aster can hold too strong on this and go past her. Nice cross. cross. Oh, another. Oh, Seems like Hazen's struggling to, to be aware of those. those yeah, they're struggling to defend that play. Yeah. I'm sure Coach Harry's going to be looking at the tape and uh, making some adjustments after this because they have they've been struggling with that setup. Yeah. Which is interesting because it seems like they're they're kind of keeping uh, higher numbers on their defensive side. So oftentimes the Blue Mountain is you know three to two to between two and four players down, but they're still sneaking them in. They're just able they're just staying open um, in the in the 18. Are they able to kind of overload the defensive setup? Save by looks, Reno you can again. see there's three on the the back yeah. side there. All Hazen's all on the front side where the cross is coming from. And it's, it's either they're open at the top of the 18 or they're open kind of on the, the back side of the 18 where they're able to crash from there. I mean, according to... Oh, beautiful slide through to... Gowan. Gowan. Yeah, she couldn't do anything with it there. I mean, Coach Harry's tips that Hazen had a 3-4-3 formation today with three center backs to shore up the defensive line, two wing backs that fall back to make a back five when out of possession, so... Yeah, definitely had the defensive players back. Yeah, it seems just like they're just struggling to really 
see and mark up on the on the open Blue Mountain players, especially in the backside of they get they're getting pulled and distracted by the cross coming in and and kind of losing track of the open players coming down the middle in the backside. Christensen on a throw in. It's the Blue Mountains sending in some delayed players from the midfield that seem to be sneaking in kind of later on to the top of the 18. That's where two of those goals came in from. Which can be hard for defense to track. They're kind of coming in a little delayed. Oh, Definitely. nice poke right around by. here. See what she can do with this. And, and a beautiful goal. goal. Right over the, the goalie's fingers. That was a beautiful poke right around the defender. Trying to get the number on the player Number here. 10. Number 10? Okay, yeah. so that's Jordan Alley. Second Nally. goal in a row. Or second goal, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And she's had at least one assist from the wing. So 5-1 now, three minutes She's left She's going to play. be feeling good later. Yeah. <laughs> going to be a fun bus ride back. They're about, uh, oh, from here on a bus, they're probably about 45 minutes or so. That's a fun celebratory ride home if yeah. you win. We won't lose hope for Hazen yet, though. No, this will drop Hazen to 1-1. One one. They will host, they got some little bit of home cooking to uh, go. They'll be hosting Fairfax, although Fairfax Ooh. is a tough team to play. Kaylin went in pretty strong on that one, calling it for free kick for Blue Mountain. Girls are hosting Fairfax this Friday at 4.30. Uh, the boys go to Fairfax Wednesday at 4.30, their first game of the season. And then on Saturday, the boys host Harwood, their home opener. So this will drop the uh, Lady Cats record to 1-1, one and, one, and we'll hope a little more home cooking when they host Fairfax on Friday. See if Is they the can cure. save that one. Yeah. Fairfax, and tough it's team. it's going to go out. Goal kick for Blue Mountain. In the past, we have had a, t a hard time matching up size-wise with Fairfax. They have some tall, rangy girls. Uh, but we you know we got Julia, the girls here back there now, and you know Caitlin's no slouch. And we'll see what happens. Season is still young. We'll take the lessons we learn and some points to ponder and apply it go from here sometimes heights not everything sometimes if they're if you're you're small enough you can kind of get under them and kind of not they can't see anything because you're just running around underneath them right I've seen that happen before small player up against a tall player can actually be quite easy for the for the smaller player the smaller player to just kind of wiggle around under their feet and not see what happens. They yeah. can't see the ball. <laughs> <laughs> One way to use your your size to your advantage. And yeah, okay, I can see what you're saying now with. Oh. The, and there's and a quick goal. Yeah, see, there's three of them yep. wide open on the back side. Sort of trail there. back behind there. I saw it that time. That, it's great that you're here, Buffy. You know, to point that out because I really saw where the, the midfielder was dropping down. There's been uh, on every cross at yep. least two to three players. On the back side there. I heard him say Carly. Was that Carly Blood with the goal on that one? I thought it was number five, Kennedy Perigo. Maybe Blood I had the save. Did not, I did not I catch say it. everybody's slapping Perigo's hands, so. 6-1 <laughs> is your score. Less than one minute to play. Yeah, that one, she just didn't even have to get much behind it. She was just right in front of the goal when she received it and just slipped it right in. Once again, our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes and Athletics and Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. Bailey on camera, Liz on tech, Lance Hall with the call. Buffy giving us the coach's perspective. A little it's push been, there. It's been but very enlightening. Mostly equal pressure. To have you up here <laughs> to, to point out things that I do not see, you know. And that's and game. And the game. So Blue Mountain opens up their season with a win on the road here at Hudson Fields. Hazen drops to one and one. We'll host Fairfax on Friday. Game well, time at 4.30. Were all those score goals scored in the second half? Um, yes, all, sc all goals scored in the second half. First half was a 0-0 zero, zero oh, yeah. tie. So we had seven goals here in the second half. Slow to start, but nice, exciting finish. Exactly. And I believe that will about wrap it up for us today. Buffy, once again, thank you yeah, very much. Nice that was to awesome. Be here. And uh, hopefully we'll do this again sometime. 
Until then, this is Lance Hall with the call. Remember, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.